What's going on, everyone? It's Wack. I welcome you to week five, week six. Yeah, week six of MPBA low tier. This week, we're up against a, a Tijan. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Please tell me. Please fucking tell me. Anyways, we're up against his team consisting of Terra and Lupom, Toros Paldea Aqua, which I just got destroyed by in the semifinals, uh, in not even low tier, so of course I'm gonna try to prep for this thing the best I can. We got Moltres, I almost said Glory Moltres, um, Seismitoad, Diancie, Terra fucking Diancie, by the way, and Bronzong. Now, you guys know my history with Terra Diancie, right? So you're like, oh, Wacky can't lose to Terra Diancie, that's his, that's his baby. Like, Diancie, like, it sees me, it's not gonna beat me. It ain't gonna beat me. So I hella prep for this Diancie, and I feel like Diancie, with normal sets, I think I just lose to, like, Polish Calm Mind, Draining Kiss, Diamond Storm, like, the basic bitch kind of set. Um, and by basic bitch, I mean like the basic bitch Wacka set, because I don't see anyone else running Rock Polish Calm Mind, but, yeah. Anyways, on my, on my side, to beat his Diancies, he's Terra Steel Diancie, and he's Terra Ice Ampapom, by the way. Um, my way of beating it is through Inteleon getting crits with, uh, Scope Lens, Sniper, Snipe Shots. Uh, unfortunately I have to be Terra Grass this week because Water Absorb Seismitoad is a little bit obnoxious. Um, and I don't really have Ice Coverage otherwise, and I didn't really kill it with, like, I Terra, or, like, Crit Ice Beam either. Um, so, yeah, there's that, and I also want to protect for Fake Out Ambipom. And obviously my last move is Scope, not Scope Lens, uh, Energy... Focus energy, yeah. Focus energy and protect. Um, my Delphox set is really cool this week. Um, it's basically meant to handle his water types, actually. Um, or just a backup to Inteleon. If Inteleon um, fails and scouts a Rindo, then Delphox can revenge kill. Um, you know. <clears throat> uh, so, anyway, sorry. My voice. I, I haven't like. I just woke up actually today, so I'm. I'm not tired. It's just like I have some stuff in my eyes, and like I'm trying to get over this morning voice because I think this is the first time I'm talking today. So anyway, our Delphox is flamethrower, psychic, um, solar beam, power herb, solar beam, and encore. Encore's for the Diancie and I guess like potentially the Bronzong, or just like anything clicking setup moves. Um, I decided to use it for that, um, and if he doesn't want to tear Diancie because like, oh, Rock rock Fairy kind of already resists fire and it's neutral to Psychic, and he doesn't want to tear Steel for like that 50-50, like he's pretty safe to just stay Rock Fairy on, on uh, Delphox, so I'm like, okay, well, if he goes hard uh, Diancie on Delphox, I get some chip with one of my other moves, and then I click Solar Beam. But of course, Solar Beam is also nice for Seismitoad and Tauros, probably Aqua. Um, so yeah, our Decidueye set is Overgrow, we're Choice Scarf with Leaf Storm, Shadow Ball, U-Turn, and Defog. <clears throat> Running Defog in the set was a little, you know, I didn't really want to have to do that, but I wasn't going to rely on Hitmonchan to do it, so, for Prune Club. So yeah. With that said though, our Hitmonchan set is... Um, and also, the Decidueye is actually ev so that it outspeeds my Tauros, it speed creeps my Tauros, and that gives me some intel on, like, how Atesian preps for, uh, playoffs, because I'm assuming we might meet in playoffs. We were both 4-1 going into this game. Um, so if his Ambipom outspeeds my Decidueye, then I know he just runs, like, 252 sets, but if it doesn't, then I know that, like, he's actually, like, a smart opponent. Not to say that people running 252s aren't smart, but they'd be a lot smarter if they used their EVs somewhere else and that could help them win games, but you know. Our Hitmonchan set is Assault Vest. Um, why, did, why did I run Assault Vest? Let me look at my prep doc really quick. It's for Zoroark. 
Yeah, it's really just for Zoroark, which he didn't bring, thank god. Oh yeah, in the back he had Zoroark, um, Dedene, and Delmize. I was ex I don't think I was expecting Delmize to come. I felt like Delmize got too pressured by my Firewater Grass starter core. <laughs> Which is really interesting that they're all like standing next to each other. I'm glad I was able to bring all three of them to a game. I think I've already brought all three of them to a game like once. But I feel like I haven't used Delphox or Decidueye that much, so yeah. Uh, anyways, our Hitmonchan set, because I keep getting off track, is Drain Punch, Rock Slide, Knock Off, Rapid Spin. I do have that extra removal slot on it just in case. Um, but basically this thing is kind of just meant to take on like special attackers and because there's no Zoroark I'm kind of seeing it as like kind of a sack in this matchup. Our Duraludon is actually Rocky Helmet for this Ambipom because if I can bait Ambipom to click Triple Axle, if it's not, uh, if it's protective pads then like it's not as scary as like you know Choice Band or um, Technician or Skill Link, um, you know like options like that. Uh, like, if I can be able to click Triple Axle, then it's basically losing all its health. Uh, we have Flash Cannon, Body Press, Flat, uh, Dragon Tail, and Thunderbolt. And our last one's gonna be Primplup with Scald, Grass Knot, Roost, and Haze. This is also meant for Diancy, but it can kind of come in on, like, those other water types, too. Um, because I don't, because like the Sidui is kind of dealing with everything else low key that I kind of just wanted to use Primplup as like a backup for everything. So yeah, no Tauros this week, no no Pheasantipity, no Mandibuzz. I feel like I haven't used Mandibuzz or Fez like at all, which is really upsetting because I was I was really happy to be able to use Mandy and Fez in the low tier setting, but honestly they kind of feel worse in low tier settings. Um, I guess we'll see. Season not over yet. Anyways, okay. I was just making sure this is muted. I'm gonna lead with the Sidjuai. As they lead Ambipom, I'm like, okay, I could Leaf Storm and just potentially kill this right now. But if he's running like any HP investment, then it's about a 50/50, and I feel like I don't need to risk a 50/50 on turn one, especially when the Duraludon is made for this Ambipom. So I'm gonna go hard Duraludon after the U-turn. He knows I'm Scarf now, and I actually know that he's uh, Protective Pads, um, so he's going to U-turn out, and yeah. Duraludon is really not that tanky without a Violite. Like, this thing with a Violite would have been at, like, 75% still after, like, a full Triple Axle and, like, U-turn ship. But he's going to go Seismitoad. I'm going to Body Press. This is about 31%. I see he's not Leftovers. However, he's going to get up his Rocks, and he's going to switch into Moltres because he doesn't want to take the... The, I'm assuming a grass move, even through Rindo, just kills. So he's gonna. I'm gonna be able to defog here. I am Scarf defog, which kind of sucks, but it's whatever. And, and I was gonna Scorching Sands in my Primplup, and I'm gonna Scald in the Seismic Toad. My the thing behind Scald was I could Scald and then Grass Knot will do a lot anyways, and I'm not really scared of the Seismic Toad. If Seismic Toad wants to chip down my Primplup a little bit, then sure. But this is kind of like what I'm dealing with right now. But I actually, he reveals that he's not Water Absorb. I'm not really sure if this is meant to be like Swift Swim or Poison Touch, maybe Poison Touch. I do get the Scald Burn on him though, which is nice for me as I Grass Knot into his Rindo Berry. Does about 24%. He's going to Endeavor as I go for the skull which brings him down to one percent and kills him and i'm like shoot if i roosted there but like if i spammed roost until he died like i could have had like a pretty healthy um i could have had primplup at 72 percent still which kind of sucks but um with that said primplup is kind of just a sack now i'm not really going to switch in anything to sack it he does activate my competitive which is nice because if he doesn't kill me here then yeah. So he's going to go for the Wave Crash. I'm assuming he clicked Wave Crash just in case I went hard to Sidueye. However, I'm going to go into Decidueye now. He's going to be forced to go back into Moltres so I can defog. Rock should be gone for the remaining of the remaining portion of the battle. He's going to get a Scorching Sands Burn on Hitmonchan, which really sucks for me. However, I am Assault Vest, and I'm going to tank the fuck out of this thing. I'm going to knock off his boots. 
and I'm going to eat the flamethrower as I rock slide. And I'm assuming I think he roosts here. I should have maybe went for like a rapid spin so I can outspeed him, but it's like kind of whatever. Like him on Chan really wasn't meant to do anything in this in this particular battle because there was no Zoroark. Um, however, this thing. I, I'm not gonna reveal my tech though. I'm gonna, he's gonna flame charge, and I die. Uh, now he's faster than my Inteleon, but I'm not gonna tear Inteleon. He's already revealed his full set. Scorching Sands won't KO me. Flamethrower won't KO me. Flame Charge won't KO me. But Snipeshot will kill him. So I'm gonna Snipeshot, which kills the Moltres. Thank God. That's gonna go into Tauros for some reason. I'm like, he might be a Rindo Berry, honestly. But I haven't revealed my Terria, and if he is Rindo, I don't really. I want to preserve my Decidueye. I feel like my Decidueye is a little bit better at this point with something chipped down. I don't know why I thought that. I guess I just assumed he already ran Rindo on this. Like, he might not be running Rindo on this. I'm thinking this thing might be, like, choice locked. It might be. It actually might be, like, choice scarf. I, could, I didn't really think about choice scarf. If he was Choice Scarf, I'm not really sure what I would have done. I guess I could have went to Sidueye. And I probably should have went to Sidueye. I actually feel like I should have went to Sidueye and then just like with Blue Storm on um, whatever came in. But uh, he ends up just dying to this Terra Blast. I'm not really sure what his thought was. I guess he wanted to bluff Scarf and maybe switch into Decidueye and then like what? He Throat Chops me? Like Choice Band Throat Chop KOs Decidueye maybe? I'm not really sure. I could have also probably just sacked her out on at that point, too. However, he's gonna go into Bronzong. As I go hard Delphox, uh, I didn't want to risk, like, Snipe Shot and losing my Inteleon, because Inteleon can kind of deal with Diancie still. Um, I think Inteleon is my last hope against Diancie. However, he's Calm Mind Delph- or he's Calm Mind. So I'm gonna Encore him in a Calm Mind, and then that's like, okay. I can go into Inteleon here and set up my focus energy if he wants to stay in. <laughs> He's gonna Terra steal his Diancie. Snipe Shot doesn't really do that much as he gets up his Calm Mind. I'm gonna Snipe Shot. Crit Snipe Shot will kill him. Um, and this wasn't a roll because uh, Sniper Snipe Shot crits actually do like a little bit over double damage. So this wasn't a roll at all. I think this did minimum like 75. Maybe did like minimum 70, because it's not like that much over times two, but I don't think this mattered at all, that crit. Um, and he says man in chat, and <laughs> like I, it didn't really matter. He's gonna call, I'm gonna call him, wow, I really can't talk. I'm gonna focus energy on the Bronzong, because I, I think critting Bronzong is better than, um, Missing the crit as he's Calm Minding up. So I can just crit through the, his Calm Mind boost, his Flash Cannon KOs me. I'm gonna go into Delphox and Flamethrower him, which for whatever reason, this Delphox just can't stop critting things. That crit mattered in no way whatsoever, unless he was like Heat Proof Zong, which I don't think he'd be. Actually, he could be Heat Proof Zong. I mean, like, my ground type is Stumpfisk. <laughs> so if he's Heat Proof Zong, I have no idea if that mattered. Anyways, he's going to click Focus Punch on Aeropon for some reason. And, yeah, Tail Slap will come out. I'm going to Solar Beam his Ambipom. And because he revealed the Focus Punch, I was like, I might as well just reveal my Solar Beam tech. So, yeah, Delphox gets the last KO. Um, Digi's to Atesian. Inteleon gets three KOs. Delphox gets two. I think Primplup got the Skull Burn KO on Seismic Toad, which is nice. So yeah, my whole team kind of did something. Draw it on and Hitmonchan really didn't do that much, but I didn't really need them to because my whole plan was just to kind of out offense him. And if he brings me into like a danger zone with like this Ambipom, like a weird Terra that like Terra Dragon, for example, on Ambipom, then I could have been in a weird spot. Um, but that's what Primplup, Drought, on Hitmonchan were kind of for. And yeah. So with that said, I will see you guys next week. I feel like a little congested today. But I think it's just because I haven't showered yet or anything. So, yeah. 
with that said, I will see you guys for next week when I face somebody. I don't know. I'm just glad this game didn't get an extension. I end up having to play on a Sunday. Um, we were supposed to play on Saturday, but his sleep schedule ended up getting like very off. So I was a little bit worried about having to extend, even after prep. I think I prepped for this game on like Thursday night. So having to extend like a long time after prepping like a week ahead of time. Not even like a week ahead of time. Like I prepped two days ahead of time for like our actual match. But if the actual match ended up being like a week later, then I probably wouldn't have been as prepared for this. Um, like I even went into this game not knowing if I was a Violet Thraladon or if I was Rocky Helmet. Um, a Violet would have been a little bit better for me, but you know. But anyways... Yeah, that is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week.